Hey, it's Dave Brown here, host of Now with Dave Brown on AMI. Check out this latest highlight from the show. Ability New Brunswick has launched an initiative called Accessible NB. The program aims to help businesses and organizations become more accessible. Haley Flero can tell you more about this. Haley is the Executive Director of Ability New Brunswick. Haley, welcome to the show. Good morning from New Brunswick. <laughs> so Haley, why was this program launched? We've been, Ability New Brunswick is a provincial disability organization who works with people with a mobility disability, and we've been doing accessibility reviews for the 65 years we've worked in New Brunswick, but we've always done them on the corner of our desks, and with an increasing focus on accessible places of employment, accessible public spaces, accessible public trails, we knew with the demand for accessibility reviews that we needed to formalize our program, and that's what we've been doing. Maybe you don't want to give away all the secret sauce right here, but what goes into some of these reviews as you go out into the world? Well, New Brunswickers like to share, so I have no problem with that. So <laughs> we worked really hard with a technical committee consisting of um, experts from many government departments working in areas like built environment, disability service delivery, communications, uh, persons with lived experience, which is the most important um, aspect for our work. And also we, we looked at um, not only our, our accessibility regulation in New Brunswick, but the best practice standards throughout Canada. and. Mm and internationally as well to look at things like um, not just you know built environment but issues such as neurodiversity uh, elements such as outdoor spaces we really wanted to ensure that this this accessibility review tool provided really groundbreaking recommendations so as groups are expanding as organizations are adapting their businesses and building new building pieces onto it or building new buildings that we would really really have gold star uh, development. Once a review is done, what kind of consultation process might might be available to a company as they as they go to try to implement some of the recommendations from review? So glad you asked, because that was a big important piece uh, for us. As, as you might be aware, New Brunswick is currently drafting our accessibility legislation and proponents of that. We've been really clear that it can't just be a, a policing act. It needs to have upstream education, working with people like employers so what goes into our reviews they're not it's not a score it's basically we go through we we review all areas of the business uh, indoor outdoor with their consent and provide a confidential report with recommendations but in that report uh, we also give um, information on funding sources available there's many funding sources available for nonprofits municipalities uh, small business so we're going to highlight those we're also going to make sure we advise that our toll-free line and you know through email we can provide consultations to help people draft proposals uh, make those quick wins a lot of these reviews will have quick wins uh, have you ever gone into a store where the aisles aren't wide enough and you knock mm. everything down happens to me I'm a larger woman right so sometimes just changing the layout of, of a store could be a very simple uh, way to do things the other thing that we're adding to these reports is a link to all the employment assistance service agencies for people with a disability in New Brunswick because we have 120,000 job openings in the next several years in New Brunswick and an untapped labor market. So we're going to make those connections as well. Haley, maybe I should have started here with the first question, but what are people from the community, from, from the, 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 the disability uh, community, people with disabilities, what are they saying about the current landscape when it comes to access at businesses across New Brunswick? I know New Brunswick is a big province and there's varied experiences, but generally speaking, what are people saying about the landscape? Uh, great question. I love this province, um, and I grew up with a mom with a neurological condition, um, and and so I know what it's like to. I see the world differently in terms of all the roadblocks that are there. But we've made progress, but we have a long way to go. New Brunswick really is a largely inaccessible province, and we have a lot of historic older buildings and older infrastructure, which you know weren't designed with everybody in mind. So uh, we have a lot of work to do. We are also as part of our project wanting to improve accessibility in New Brunswick not only for the people that we work with that have a mobility condition and citizens and the community, but also accessible tourism. We get a lot of tourists, uh, people with a disability have buying power and 
you know, many want to travel and, and come to other provinces, but it's been really hard to find accurate uh, accessibility information when you want to come to New Brunswick to visit. And we've often had a lot of people disappointed because they can't find accessible accommodations and accessible transportation and get information on accessible trails or viewing areas over the mm. Bay of Fundy. So we really want to look at improving the ex built environment, but improving the hiring of people with a disability and improve accessible tourism it's an untapped market for us yeah it, it's interesting you mentioned the tourism side of this because when I was younger I had quite a few friends in New Brunswick I used to travel from Montreal to Fredericton and sometimes at St. Jean or Moncton to go visit people that's becoming harder with more limited bus services limited train services it really feels like maybe New Brunswick has become a little bit of a forgotten tourism destination it has. You mean we let you out of the province? Yeah. Visit? <laughs> I didn't want to leave. I would have stayed. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> New Brunswickers like to keep people. Um, you know, joke, joking aside, it is. You know, we're. I, I'm right now in the capital city in New Brunswick today, in Fredericton, New Brunswick. And, um, you know, we, we have a good uh, parallel transit system. Our standard transit system, just as of two years ago, uh, is now accessible. However, uh, we have one accessible cab in in the city and when it breaks down um you know even our airport authority doesn't have access with the, which they're required to, to required to have that type of service so we have a lot of challenges not just with built environment but uh with accessible transportation and um you know the accessible canada act and the legislation coming in new brunswick as canada's chief accessibility officer said uh, a friend of mine stephanie Kadu, Kadu, when she was here in new brunswick just a couple weeks ago it's time to flip the script yeah uh, Haley let's go back to the initiative here to the program because it's a really good idea and I imagine you've perked a couple eardrums this morning how can companies go about accessing the reviews and the consultation services through accessible NB well here's the clincher it's free so that's awesome. I like that. The low, um, low price of free 99. Yeah, the low, low price for three years. This is a <laughs> prototype for three years. Come on. Um, there's no free lunch in New Brunswick, <laughs> but uh, the we make you work or volunteer or do something. But the um, uh, the, the reviews, and they've always been free at our organization, but the, the reviews, they can contact abilitymb.ca, www.abilitymb.ca through our website. There's an accessible MB component to the website. Um, in New Brunswick, we have a toll-free number, uh, one 866 Four six two nine five five five, where employers can call. Uh, this is confidential. We are not here to embarrass people. That strategy just has not worked um, for anyone. So um, we are here to, you know, we'll, we'll get some information from them, find out the areas of their business, their place of employment that they want to review, uh, indoor, outdoor, and uh, set up the review and uh, go from there. Again, it's a free service. It's confidential. This report is not shared with anyone but the business, but the proprietor or the business owner. Um, and we're here to provide guidance along the way to help make those quick wins. And we know some changes require more complex change. And we've had a lot of success working with employers on, on proposals, on long-term accessibility plans. So they're always moving in the right direction. Haley, thank you for this. It's a wonderful initiative. I hope it becomes a great template moving towards provincial accessibility legislation. It sounds like you and your colleagues are doing just a wonderful job on the ground. Thank you, and we'll be back to tell you about it because we're going to evaluate, evaluate, evaluate it mm -hmm. again because we really think this, uh, this there's other accessibility review programs in Canada, but we think we've got a model here, especially in a rural Francophone province. It's going to be really interesting to see the results. Oh, right on. The, yes, absolutely. Let's reconnect and we'll talk all about the success stories. I like that. And you look me up when you come to visit again. <laughs> I will, absolutely. <laughs> That's Haley Flero, Executive Director of Ability New Brunswick. To learn more about the program Accessible NB, please visit abilitynb.ca slash accessible dash NB. And of course, these links and phone numbers will be shared on the blog after the show, ami.ca slash now, ami.ca slash now. Do you want to dive into more conversations like this? Watch Now with Dave Brown weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on AMI-tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen. Do you want to dive into more conversations like this? Watch Now with Dave Brown weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on AMI-tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen.